Hans learns HTML. Now that we got the page created, let's actually launch it in Internet Explorer and see what happens. There's nothing there. There's nothing there because we actually haven't written any HTML code. So it's like a blank website? Exactly. Right. Now one way we can confirm that besides seeing that we, we don't see anything here. Now you can do this in any web browser. I'm using Internet Explorer 9 and you can tell just by going to help about Internet Explorer. If you're using Internet Explorer 9 or above, you'll be fine. If you're using Firefox, Safari or Chrome, it's all pretty much the same. Those are web browsers. Exactly. I'm using Internet Explorer 9 because I'm guaranteed all Windows users will have it. And also there's a special little feature in Internet Explorer 9 which is going to make our lives a little bit easier. Okay. So first of all, let's take a look at this page behind the scenes. So you do that by going right clicking in the browser window. Right. And selecting view source. Source. It's source is in reference to that or look, we want to view the source of this web page. What makes up the web page. Exactly. Okay. So let's select that. And you see this little text window pops up. And of course we see nothing. Because if we haven't put anything there. Exactly. Let's take a look at a page that actually has code in there. So we'll go to this uh, site, yeah. killersites.com. So we're going to right click on that. I think this is your web page. It's one of our websites. It yes, looks yes. familiar. Yeah, yeah. So we hit view source. Well, look at that. Now, now we see a bunch of code. There's a lot of code in there. Yes, there is a lot of code, but that's because there's a lot of stuff going on. Now, a lot of this code is HTML, but there's also some other code in there as well. And there's just text that we see in the page. So if you look at the page, though, there's a lot of stuff. We got animations, we got video in bed, we got. Uh, oh, wait a minute. You mean all this stuff that we see on the web and the web pages is all of this is basically text? Exactly. Because what HTML does, let me just take a look at that again. All this code does here, it yeah. tells the browser what to display on the page. Right. So sometimes it can be text. Sometimes it can be images, video, etc. Okay. Now there are a couple other languages that were being that are being used on this page. One is called CSS, and one other is called JavaScript. But it's not necessary to use these things to create a web page. HTML is enough to create basic websites. It's all you need. Yes. So this looks complex now, I'm sure, and this is actually pretty complex code. But simple websites are actually simple. And once you understand the basic rules of HTML, this will become pretty easy to understand. It's just like bodybuilding. You know, you've got to pick up the weights. And if you do it in the right way, then you can build, you build your body. Now that we've seen all this, let's actually build our very first page. But I'm excited. I'm just going to close this. So actually, you know what? That was a mistake. So I'm going to open that up again in Internet Explorer. Now, what you're going to do in Internet Explorer, you're going to go to File, Edit with Notepad. Oh, it's right there. And Notepad will launch. And yeah. You can use Notepad on Windows. And on Mac will be Text Edit to edit your web pages. Basically, we're looking for a simple text editor that doesn't add any extra special things to, to the page. That's why you're using Notepad. Exactly. If you used Word or WordPad, or something more complex like that, it would it could mess up your pages. So we can't w change the web page on the web page. We've got to use some kind of text editor. Exactly. You have to be able to go in there and manipulate that code or add code in this situation. It's like going into the gym. What I've done to What's save this? us time. Okay, what is this? This is the basic building blocks. This is basic HTML that every modern website uses today. All right. Now this is very very simple, but I'm gonna we're gonna keep it simple for this particular video so that you just get an idea of what's going on. Now HTML code is basically just the body, and there it is again, but it's a little different. A little different. So before we get into the tags, now these are all called tags, right? Right, and they're HTML tags, and the code is just written using standard 
English words like head and body yeah. and uh, title. And there's also some other tags that don't use each, uh, that don't use English words. Essentially, tags are sets of text that are formatted in a particular manner that the browser understands. It's a language like, you know, yeah. the word body is built in a, in a specific way and we know what it says. Yeah. And in HTML, the tags have specific meaning as well. So here's a tag. We started with body. Right. And here's another body tag. Now, these are different tags. They're the same tag, but this is the opening of the tag. And this is the closing of the tag. And you know it's closing because we have the forward slash. Like a door that opens and closes? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of looking that way. Yeah, so this, this symbol is a symbol that you see on your keyboard. It's the same key as the question mark key. Oh, yeah, I see it. So let me back up a few steps. Now, all the tags start with an angled bracket, the pointy bracket. Okay. The name of the tag, it closes with the pointy bracket. This is the opening tag because tags come in pairs. Opening tag. And this is the closing tag. Again, the same format, pointy bracket, closing pointy. But what you have is the forward slash here that tells the browser that this is the closing tag. Okay. Of course, you get the name of the tag as well. Body. So open body, opening of the body, closing of the body. Opening of the head, closing of the head. 